lovely humans, welcome to Starlight and Stitches. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Really, really appreciate it. If you've been here before, thank you for coming back. Hope you've remembered to subscribe. If you are new here, then welcome. You are now in Alice Land, and here in Alice Land, that's me, uh, we like to talk about yarny stuff. We do crochet, uh, yarn hauls, crochet book reviews, end of month finished project videos. So if that's something you, you think you might enjoy, hit the subscribe button, join my subscribers because my subscribers are the best. So if you are also the best, come and join us here in our happy little positive place on the internet. So it's been a really busy week this week. I haven't got an awful lot to talk to you about, but I did want to share some things that I have been buying. No, I have not been buying more yarn. You know I am on a yarn hiatus, except for my Good Vibes Yarns mystery clearance bags. I'm allowing myself those. I'm not allowing myself to buy any more yarn at the moment. What I have been buying is some patterns. Um, not amigurumi patterns though. I've been buying myself some clothing patterns. Now you guys know I do like making wearables now. However, um, I do get a bit frustrated with them and I get a bit bored halfway through, but I love the finished items and I really do enjoy when they're done. Um, don't really enjoy the process. But I wanted to show you some that I have purchased. There's a couple that I've got from Etsy and um, some that I have bought direct from Serdar. Now, I'm going to show you those ones first because I was just on Facebook and I had a lovely Facebook advert come up and it was advertising Serdar's new collection or latest collection and it was the festival stories and I just was in heaven because it's all my favourite things, bright colours, funky patterns, bit of flower power, bit of loveliness. So I treat myself to two patterns. I think they cost me, I bought the physical patterns, I have them here. Um, I think they cost me like £3.90 each, so I thought that was quite a good buy. Um, I'm planning on making one of them definitely this autumn. You'll know which one because it's something I've been talking about for a while. It is this one. Um, I, a little while ago, bought some bright neon yarns from Good Vibes Yarn, and this is exactly the sort of thing that I want to make with it. A long granny square with black and bright colours. That's exactly what I want to do with it. So this is, what's this one called? Does it actually tell you what they're called? Uh, probably not. It doesn't really help, does it? I will put links down below to all of these. Um, but this beautiful cardigan is, um, yeah, it's just beautiful. It's exactly the sort of thing I was looking for. And I'm really looking forward to making this. Um, the design number is 10525. That's the first one that I ordered from Serdar. The second one I ordered, my daughter has already requested one of these. It is this one. It is a hooded cardi. Different colour variations there. This is design number 10258. 10258 and it's beautiful and it's lovely it's exactly my sort of style and um, I'm once again very much looking forward to making this again I think these cost me like £3.90 each but I will put links down below for these the whole um, like story collection these festival ones oh they were just amazing a lot of them were sort of little sort of croppy toppy things that had the tummies out, not the sort of thing that I'll be wearing because um, I don't get my tummy out anymore. It's quite big, so I don't do that. Nobody needs to see it. But those two, cardigans for autumn, yes, very happy. Then I went on Etsy and I went onto a favourite page of mine. There's an art, a crochet artist on there. It uh, goes by the name of the Hippie Days. No, Hippie Days, just Hippie Days and they make some beautiful patterns and they have got a pattern for a dress i don't know i don't know if i'm actually going to make this i just love the pattern and i want to support them i might make it I'm very tempted to make it but i know what happened last time i made a dress i got so bored but i had to get it finished and then i didn't crochet for a while because i was like yeah bad enough but this is beautiful again i will put links to this down below so this is called the florette dress Look at that, it's so pretty. Um, you can make this in a short version or a long version. Again, I'll pop some extra pictures up. Um, it had a really good selection of uh, photos of other people that have made this one. Um, all different shapes and sizes, which I loved because 
I'm a lot larger on my bottom half, I'm quite wide uh, and I wanted to see what it would look like on somebody of my shape and there were bigger girls and smaller girls and taller girls and shorter girls that have all made this dress before and they've put their pictures up on the Etsy store and I thought you know what it looks great on everybody I think it's wonderful so I have bought that one then I went on to the tinderbox.com and they are another crochet artist again they do loads of different patterns and I really really enjoy their stuff I have bought two patterns from them I'll put prices and stuff down below because I can't remember off the top of my head what I paid but the first item that I absolutely loved is this Piper pocket dress it's a dress with pockets it looks fairly simple like pattern wise um, obviously you've just got to get your measurements and everything correct but this is lovely I love this dress and I love the fact it's got pockets and I like the fact that you can have it as long or as short as you like technically um if you want to make it longer I guess you could so that is the dress that I bought and then I spied this uh, I think it's called the Rebecca Raglan let me just check that yes it is the Rebecca Raglan gorgeous jumper I was like I'm gonna pop that in the basket as well so I have bought myself one two three four five new patterns this month and I don't know if I'm gonna make them I should give them a go really guys let me know if you've been buying any patterns recently I know most of the time I tend to buy amigurumi pattern books um which I love I love my amigurumi and uh I just thought this was a nice little change for me to buy something a little bit different uh, some bigger projects and some things that would work over all the autumn months I think I'm so looking forward to autumn and I can just sit and crochet and not worry that I've got stuff on my lap and being too hot and all that kind of thing so let me know what you think of these patterns let me know out of the five which one is your favorite and let me know if any of these are your kind of thing I would really like to have a chat with you down below um, and let me know if you have any suggestions for patterns for me that I could purchase I was very happy with my purchases this month and um, yeah I hope you enjoyed looking at what I've been buying. I am gonna go. Uh, it's a short one this week because I'm very, very busy. It's still the summer holidays. My daughter has a show tomorrow. We're getting prepared. Everything's like going crazy. So I'm gonna go have a little cup of tea and then crack on with the rest of my day. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful week ahead. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.